Hi beauties, welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Sunshine, I focus on makeup and luxury beauty products and today I'm so happy to be here ready to show you a new makeup tutorial. This one is about a smoky black and blue eyes makeup look. It is probably my last summer makeup, especially to wear in the evening for a festive event. So I wanted to share this soft and prettiest face match with a bold look and a glossy lips. If you are interested about, please keep on watching. First of all, to hydrate my skin, I'm going to apply the Lancome Hydrazen anti stress Moisturizing Cream all over my face before applying my foundation. This cream will suit my skin, nourish it and protect it from daily aggressions. I like using Hydrazen because the texture is light and melt on my skin, making it look softer, smoother and more luminous. I apply it gently to get all of the benefits. And I'm going to hydrate my lips with Le Rose Perfecto Lip Balm from Givenchy. Next, for foundation, I'm going to use the Givenchy Ta Couture Everwear to perfectly unify my complexion. This foundation is SPF 20, long-lasting 24 hours, moisturizing and waterproof. It also was designed to resist to all emotions. As I told you in the introduction, you can wear this makeup in the evening and take full advantage. It will last all night long until early morning. If you want to invest in a full coverage, long wearing foundation with a sophisticated couture finish, I recommend it. Otherwise, if you are looking for a soft, skin enhancing light coverage foundation, I recommend the Prisma Libre Skin Carrying Glow Foundation, which is totally different. Because it is a foundation care first and perfect to wear during the day. The composition is different, vegan and less fragrant. Besides, I use this foundation in my previous makeup look named Clean Makeup Tutorial, so don't hesitate to watch the video to see the difference. I put the link in the description box below. After that, to illuminate my under eyes, I'm going to apply the NARS of Matte Complete Concealer in Almond Shade with a MAC Cosmetics number 195 concealer brush. I spread the concealer all over the underside of my eye, covering the fine lines and the entire dark circle going down to the level of my nose. And then, I just blend it with a sponge from the bottom to top so that there is no demarcation. This concealer has a high coverage and blends easily. I like the blurred and natural effect I get when I applying it. And I find that actually good. Did you see the difference? Leave me a comment below about this concealer if you use it. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the right. I also wanted to specify that NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer is enriched with hyaluronic acid and a mixture of vitamins to take care of the under eye area which is a sensitive part. This concealer is oil free and exists in 30 shades ranging from the lightest to the darkest tones available in NARS stores and at Sephora. If you have the same complexion color as me, I'm going to leave the reference in the description box below. I currently use the almond shade, but I advise you to choose the hazelnut shade. It is a little darker. I think you are going to get a better result. So, to fix and set everything, I'm going to use the lovely Givenchy Prism Powder in Popline Mimosa, mixed all the powders to mattify my under eyes all around my mouth and my nose with a Morphe powder brush. After styling my eyebrows off camera, I'm gonna be applying the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot Eyeshadow Base with a Shadow Buffer Concealer Brush to prep my eyelid before create the smoky eyes that you're waiting for. 
This product is easy to apply and perfect to use to prolong the wear of your makeup. I'm going to create a splendid smokey eye in three steps using this handsome MAC Art Library It's Designer eyeshadow palette. First step, I'm going to apply and blend slightly the carbon color with the pointed blender Morphe brush in the outer corner of the lid. It is a matte black ultra pigmented eyeshadow. If you want to try this makeup look at home, you need to know this eyeshadow is very, very pigmented. And you really have to apply it slowly by light layer, step by step to achieve a smoky cloud on your eyes. I'm also going to do the same to the inner corner of my eyelid and as you can see right now on the video, I try to not overflow and stay within the limits of my mobile eyelid. Obviously, I want people to focus on my eyes and my look. Once the eyeshadow has been well diffused, I will move on to step 2 to give the look more intensity using a Morphe Bullet Crease eyeshadow brush to dip the black eyeshadow more and more and above all apply it with precision. For the step 3, in the middle of the lid, I'm going to apply this magical blue eyeshadow named Trinal Wave with a Morphe Oval Eyeshadow Brush to create a beautiful halo effect on my eyes. Of course, you are free to choose the color you like to make this tutorial. I choose blue because to my point of view, it's a color that highlights my skin tone, my complexion and it also greatest color to close the end of summer. This blue is royal and I absolutely love it. Just make sure you do the same on the other eye and take your time to perfect your look, blend the look and dip the color as you want. I'm sure you are going to be comfortable with it because this look is just amazing and mesmerizing. And now, I'm going to blend the outline of my eyes using also the Morphe Bullet Crease eyeshadow brush that I'm using before. Next, to volumize my natural lashes, I'm going to apply the Lancome Le 8 Hypnose Mascara before applying false eyelashes. In addition, I'm going to apply the Pearl Arena Le Noir for Make Collection eyelashes. The application is so easier with the eyelash applicator also from Arena. I love using this tool just because it is a life changing to apply false eyelashes efficiently, quickly and easily. After that, to look good, I'm gonna be using the YSL Fuchsia Stiletto Couture Blush that I am love using every day at the moment in a light touch to my pretty face and I'm also going to apply the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer to warm up my complexion. Meanwhile, off camera, I applied the NARS Lip Gloss Greek Holiday and now I fix everything with the Lancome Fix It Forget It setting spray to get this dazzling look. Watch this. After all, that is my final look, my black and blue smoky eyes, truly beautiful. My eyes is completely charming, my complexion is so smooth. I absolutely love the finish. I hope you guys are going to like this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to leave a comment below and see you very soon for another makeup tutorial. Bye, bisous!